Yes. yes. So be in a relationship. Can you write down what kind of relationship? Yes. Committed relationship, yes. partner relationship. A non cheating. No, <laughs> don't write it down. So put happy relationship, happy. committed relationship, yes. open, re whatever that is inspiring yes. you. Clear? Yes. Very good. Ania, sunshine. Um, <laughs> I want to be able to do um, like any adventurous things without being like held back. Uh, like energetically, yeah, or not hold back, get rid of it. So, if you're not holding back, how will you be open, energetic, adventurous? Like, I won't powerful, confident, courageous. Yeah. What is it? Um, powerful, write it down. Okay, next. Um, I said that I'd be slaying like Beyonce. I will run six minute mile like I did. Okay, um, awesome. Feel, be, um, just have more confidence in myself. Without Get rid of more, have confidence. Confidence. Next. Uh -huh. Feel beautiful. Okay. Wearing whatever I want to wear. Yes. Um, breathe. <laughs> Let, you know, we're not having to be out of breath all the time. So if you are breathing without out of breath, how are you breathing? Like, if I go up like a flight of stairs, I'm like out of breath, like I just ran a marathon. Yes. So I'd If like you to, don't have that, if you're breathing comfortably, yeah. how would you feel? What do you mean? Like, so you don't have out of breath, you just have, you continue breathing normally, how would that feel? Um, probably be more comfortable. Like I, so maybe you're strong, like maybe I'm you're accomplished. healthy. Yeah, accomplished. Okay, yeah. feel accomplished. Okay, what else? To treat my body with like more respect, not just to with respect, no more. Got rid of, get rid of more. Okay, what else? And that's it. Awesome, great work, Gail. Um, and I have down here wear old clothes, and I realized that didn't sound. Right, what I meant was clothes that mm -hmm. I don't wear anymore, I, that I'd like to wear, mm -hmm. not that they're old and tattered or anything. Okay, okay. Um, I'd like to wear, and, and then be able to enjoy buying new ones, because I don't okay. at all. Okay. Um, also, um, you know what, something about the old that you say, it doesn't land with me. It really doesn't. Um, can you replace that old word with something else? Yes, How I think it? that's why I said it. it didn't sound right. Yeah. Um, wear clothes that are just hanging in the closet now, I guess. I yeah. think of an actual word. Okay, anyway. got it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's better. Thank you. Um, I'm not sure about this, but of course I've been told that um, my blood pressure would be better mm -hmm. if I lost weight. I mean, no, a doctor didn't tell me that. It just everybody else so, says that, so that would be important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you don't have a high blood pressure, how would you be? Uh, not worried. No. You guys will be healthy. Huh. I'm yeah. sorry? You will be healthy. I would be healthy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. yeah actually. And, and, yeah. You yeah. Don't, don't put not diabetes, no high cholesterol, no, 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 no. Just if you don't have health concerns, you're healthy. Because otherwise yeah. you're still programming yourself to have diabetes, high blood pressure, cholesterol, da 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 da. Make sense? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I had, mm -hmm. It does, because I had down here that to me being at my right weight signals to me that I am healthy. Got it. It's a sign of health. Beautiful. So, oh, mm -hmm. yeah, like that. Nice. Um, I want to, um, I believe I would sleep soundly, maybe. <laughs> So Instead of not sleeping soundly. Okay. So I'm not sure. I just am expecting these results. Okay. Yeah. And by the way, if you're expecting something, you might be disappointed. You just got to trust yourself. Cannot have that, okay, this is something else that I will get. You'll be surprised what you'll get, so get rid of that. I don't. No. no it's like, oh, in May I'm going to be 50 pounds lighter. This is the expectations. Make sense? So I'm going to go to Paris and I'm 15 uh, pounds lighter. No, your body will decide where you're going to get better. You just got to learn to trust it. Next. Um, I uh, want to dance more and I would if I, if I like less. Okay, so not, so, 
So no, more. I can't say more. Yeah. I just. Um, we'll be dancing twice a week. Okay. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Done? Or one more? Uh, oh, one more. Um, I'm not sure. You oh, me. confidence. And you'll just definitely have confidence. Definitely. No more confidence. Uh, and we'll have confidence. Excellent. Yes. Love it. Thank you, <laughs> Divjani. But let's go fast because we have a lot of things okay. to do. Like, dun 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 dun. Like okay. That. Look good in a bikini. Yes. Um, be healthy, athletic. Mm -hmm. um, wear pants without covering my butt. Um, go, I, I used to scuba dive, so scuba diving. Uh -huh. um, wear backless attire. Um, take full length pics that I'm proud of. Um, what is that? Like the whole picture. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay, thank you. Because uh -huh. I avoid it as a kind of picture. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, fit properly um, in an airplane seat with room on the sides. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When I'm in an airplane seat. I know, I know. I'm just trying to see how can we word that so it's not wrong. That right now it's mm -hmm. wrong that you don't fit properly. Makes sense? Feels comfortable in an airplane seat. Very good. Thank you very much. Oh, awesome. that feeling. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Really great. Janice. Um, pain free. Oh. If you're saying pain, you already just put the pain. Cannot use the <coughs> word trauma, pain, uh, cholesterol, get rid of all of the negative words. Subconscious doesn't hear free. It hears pain. Okay. Clear? Very good. So if you don't have pain, how would you feel? I don't know. Imagine. No pain. None. None. How would you feel? Amazed. Thank you. I will feel amazed. Amazed is the word. Fabulous. Next. Comfortable in my skin. Yes. Living easily. Exercising yes. easily. Stronger. Look, no, strong. Strong. You're not strong to be stronger. Strong. Strong. Yes. Okay. Look really good and feel light. Yes. Yes. How will that make you feel if that's all there? My face would be smiling like that picture. Yeah, and how does that picture look like when we're looking at that picture? What do you think you're expressing there? Joy. Yes. Feel joy. And one more. Really great. Thank you, Janice. Joy. All right. Um, be able to move, bend, flex. And comfortable. Yes. Um, to truly love myself and take care of me. Yes. For confidence and increased self esteem. Yes. For smaller clothes because I want to be able to pack more in my suitcase. Um, oh, I want to be able it's to pack smaller. My what you're saying is you have small clothes and it will be smaller. Do you have small clothes now? No. No. So what clothes? Not smaller, but how? Small. Small, small, small oh, clothes. Small clothes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Next. Uh, to recognize myself on the outside. Yes. I'd like to look hot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and to be healthy. Yes. Love it. Thank you. Um, want to feel confident in my two-piece two -piece bathing suit. Yes. Want to look fabulous for my 40th birthday. Yes. Uh, want to be able to wear cute cocktail dresses like my friends do. Yes. Um, want to look youthful again want to feel beautiful in lingerie, yes. want to feel confident in social settings, and want to recognize myself again. Yes, beautiful. Thank mm -hmm. you. Really great. Thank you. Skip. Why? Remember that was a part I didn't do. Oh, yeah. By the way, this is the time to do it. You can borrow. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you have two minutes. Write it down. Start. People shared so much, so write it down, okay? Suzanne? Okay. Um, get into my old clothes, uh, run a 5K, walk the Camino de Santiago, wear a bikini in Tahiti, be healthy, start eating again, and hike Stone Mountain. Mmm. Dating again. I like that. <laughs> oh, you like it? Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, I would like for you to even put a specific. Start dating like when? So it's not like someday, one day. Mm -hmm. When? Um, in three months. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Um, 
Why three months? I don't know, because I was lost weight by then. Yeah, no, yeah. can do. By the way, if you're seeing a guy in Jamaica right now, and if he doesn't accept you and love you with your weight, he's not your guy. If the guy you're going to see right now, meet right now, and he doesn't like you in the way you, you are in right now, he's not your guy. If your husband doesn't accept you with the weight you are in right now, he's not your guy. This is all the conditional love. They don't really love you. This is who you are. There is no life one day, someday when I lose weight, they're going to love me. No. First, you fall in love with you. Once you love you, the guy shows up. Once you love your pounds and your pains and your depression and whatever you accept and nurture and you love and accept you, they will love you. So no, the dating is not going to happen in three months. You're not living in three months. By the way, we live like we're going to live forever. But we don't even know if tomorrow the car hits us and we die. So if you have only 24 hours to live, what do you think you're going to regret? That you didn't do what? Date. You get that? And it's written on your forehead. Mm -hmm. You have so much love to give, and you're holding it. I'm not going to give you until I'm going to fix my weight. Can't, Suzanne. Okay. Clear? Mm -hmm. So when are you going to start dating? Now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> really. Right now. Okay. Who thinks that Suzanne is overweight? By the way, none of the guys can really see that. Mm -hmm. It's all very much internal. I know it's between you and yourself, which mm -hmm. you're going to start overcoming, but it's really right now between you and yourself. And so many guys will be just really happy mm -hmm. to be with you because mm -hmm. you have so much to give. You all have so much to give. This guy can't wait to see you, <laughs> and love you, and hold you. And I'm really mean it. You guys are really extraordinary, amazing people. But you're too significant about yourselves and about your weight. Angela, are you dating someone? Sort of. Sort of. Kind of. <laughs> Got it. Let's move on. Um, ten things that you like and ten things you don't like about. So raise your hand if you wrote down ten things you like about your body. Who did I'm not? Really, I, mean, I, I couldn't one. make it all the way. I couldn't, I couldn't make it all the way. Make it to make it to yeah. ten. ten things that you don't like about your body. So as we're gonna go really around the circle, you really gotta do it fast. All right, go go ahead. Mickey. Okay, feeling fast. healthy, feeling sexy, being in a committed relationship. Looking fabulous in a business attire, feeling energetic and happy, feeling beautiful, dancing, country music, feeling comfortable in bikini. You know. Beach, sad. You know, you didn't give me the ones that I'm looking for. This is all good, but it was all your head, Miguel. Okay. Yeah, I need your heart. What do you really want? Why do you really want to lose weight? Because I want to feel sexy. Yeah. yeah. What else? I want to feel loved, happy, energetic. Yeah. What's missing with you every day? Every day. You go to work, you go to school, you're in a relationship, it works, it doesn't work. What's all the time missing with you? That it's not there. A feeling? Yes. Joy? What else? I will be guessing, sorry. I don't yeah, know. so I don't what know. is it really missing? Look into your heart here. What is missing? I think it's missing the joy and the passion, you know, for life, I think. I don't, I don't see passion in my life right now. I know. Can I be really straight? Mm. It feels you're so much in your head that you're even dead. Does that make sense? Uh, and if you're no longer dead and numb, what will be available? 
How would you feel? Um, I would feel free. Yeah. And how would that feel? Amazing. Would you like that? Yeah. Is it worse really getting out of your head and doing the therapy today? To do it worse? No, like really doing it. Like you didn't do it yesterday, uh -huh. but doing it in the second half today? I know, I have to do it. Okay. So the freedom is not that important, right? You said you want freedom, it would feel amazing, right? Yes. Yeah. Is it worse for you to do anything to get to that freedom? Of course, yes. Is it? Mm -hmm. Are you right now battling inside of your head or are you really in? No, I think I'm battling, yeah. Yeah, I see that, right? So what will it take for you to overcome? So it, it's two worlds, Miguel. It's either dead and numb or it's free and amazing. This is comfortable. You've been there all of your life. Mm -hmm. Most of your life, right? Yeah. And it became so comfortable that that's right now what's running. Robotic, machinery, okay? Dead and numb. Analyzing, dead and numb, okay? Or freedom and amazing. This conversation to everyone, right? Mm -hmm. You hear that, right? So what is it? This, comfortable, right? Dead and numb, or free and amazing. Uh, of course I choose free and amazing. You're not choosing. You're saying it's the right thing. You see it, right, Gail? Yeah. yeah? This, is, this is your version, by the way, right here. All of you, you know? Uh -huh. so I, I cannot get out of here. That's the... Consider me, Gail. I'm not going to, no. Yeah, listen. <laughs> what you're doing right now is you're battling with me to stay here. Do you get that? What are you getting out of this? I'm just getting that it's, it's my choice and I'm not doing it. I cannot do it. No, 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 no. listen. Uh, if you're saying, I can't, I don't want to, you won't. Then why are you here then? What's the point? Do you think I can do something to get you here? No, really, who has this idea that I can actually get you here to the free and amazing, happy and sexy? Who thinks that? Well, you can help me get there. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I said, I do only 20% of the work. I just opened the door. But who is walking? You guys are right. Do you get that? Yes. Miguel, the problem, as was a lot of you, you think I actually can do the work for you too. And your mind is so powerful, you're choosing it right now. Just, I can't. You're battling. Basically, what you're telling me, guys, is that you guys living life this way. This is your past, full of traumas and pain and sadness and traumas. And you came here and said, I want to lose weight. Then I'm telling you, all right, let's move around from this and let's glance. This is the possibility of happiness and joy and freedom. And you're like comfortable to this. And you're like living life like this. This is comfortable, painful, traumatic. You're surviving, but that's comfortable. And this is now turning to you happiness and joy and freedom. Like, ah! I'd rather stay here. And that's what you're doing. You're holding on with the teeth right now. You're like a dog with the bone. I'm not going to let go even though I'm suffering. Do you get that? Mm -hmm. That's how ridiculous it is, but you're holding on to it. Like, mm, I'm not going to let go. I'm like, give me the ball. Let's turn around. Like, mm, no, I'm going to stay here. Why? What for? How much longer, Miguel, are you going to suffer? It's, it's, it's just time, you know, to go to the other side. How much are you inside of that conversation? It's just time. It's, I mean, I mean that it's now is the time. And now it's the time? Yes. Oh, really? Let's shift. 
Choose something else. Be amazing and free. But really, let go of the battling. You're still referring to me as a mother. Do you get that? You hear me in your subconscious mind, by the way. You're really battling with your mother. In subconscious mind, I'm representing that. Tough, strong mother. Do you get that? Yes. Yeah. I don't want you to suffer. I want you to close your eyes for a second. Son, please forgive me. Please forgive me? No, 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 no. You just listen. I'm your mom because I see why you're resisting. Son, please forgive me that I was not a good wife to your father. And because I was a bad mom and bad wife, your father left us. He left me and he left you. I didn't do my job as a good wife. And now you're paying the price 20 years later. Can you please forgive me? Give me all your pain, your anger, and your sadness because I am responsible for it. You don't even need to forgive me. I just want you to be happy. Can you give yourself a permission to be happy and stop punishing yourself and punishing me? You can punish me, but stop punishing yourself. And I'm willing to take all your pain. Could you please? Yes. But I don't want you to say yes, my dear son from your head, can you say it from your heart? Do you really mean it? Do you deserve to be happy? Can you give yourself a permission to be happy? Feel your heart, Miguel. Feel it. I'm your mom. I feel all of your pain and all of your struggle and all of your anger. Can you give yourself permission? No. Yeah. So how long do you want to struggle and suffer? I don't know. Give yourself a number. Five years. Five more years. So you deserve to suffer for five more years. We know your answer, Miguel. And I want you to discover throughout the whole day today. How old are you now? 35. So that means you want to suffer for five more years until 40. What for? By the way, this conversation is to everyone. Mm -hmm. Do you get that? Mm -hmm. um, what for? Well, to, keep, to prove myself. Yeah. To prove yourself what? Well, that I'm hurt. You've been hurt for 35 years. And you've been punishing yourself, you get that? Mm -hmm. For 30 of those years. And that means it's not enough? You need five more years to suffer? Do you know that you're not gonna allow anybody, including me, to help you this weekend because you're already determined to suffer for five more years. Do you get that? I want you to be with that for a moment. Do you get, guys, how sad it is, how tough you are on yourself? Who is getting something out of this conversation? Who wants to share? How are you relating to that? Be with it for a moment, Miguel. Be with it. I, I mean, I think I relate the most um, because of the fact that um, similar backgrounds um, that I have the problem with being in my head all the time. And it's uh, trying to just let go. It's easy to say, but it's so hard to emotionally do when you're not in tune with your emotions anymore. And so you don't know how anymore. How
how to let to feel emotions to let it go. And so it becomes a battle of, of trying to get the emotion so that you can let it go. And um, and so it, it makes it difficult. And so at some point, though, you just have to feel, just, you know, let someone else lead and let go of your, um, let go of your life to something else. So let me explain you guys. What you're thinking is that I'm asking you uh, you're crawling right now to fly right away. That doesn't happen this way. So imagine in your subconscious mind when you got traumatized when you were a kid, you created a really huge border, a wall that is standing like this. So some of you inside of the cave, some of you inside of the castle, some of you are surrounded by atomic bombs. Don't come to me, otherwise I'll shoot you. And it's so thick. I'm not asking you to get out of this castle or this wall. But I'm asking you, open the door yeah. and put the food there. Yeah. If nobody kills you yeah. and shoot you, you know, say, okay. okay, maybe I can put my head out, stick out. Yeah. Nobody shot me, the world is not dangerous, maybe I can get the yeah. second leg out. Oh, it's still safe, nobody is attacking me, maybe I can do one more step, or maybe I'm not ready, let me go do this. We've lost, I, I uh -huh. mean, when you say that, yes. I can tell you, I don't know where the door is. Yeah, and consider in this program, I'm actually showing you. Okay. You are not willing to see because you surrounded yourself with the smoke. Yeah. It's like, that's what Miguel is doing. It's like, well, I know the door, mm -hmm. oh. yeah. but I don't even want to. And your uh. mind. So here's the thing. Yeah. This is how brain works. This is your conscious, this is your subconscious. Right. The power is here to heal, right? right? But conscious mind gotta say, I wanna heal. The permission comes from here. You get that? Mm -hmm. And once you want that, you come here and you start healing. But he is right now here consciously, he's saying, I don't even want it. So then the yeah. door here doesn't even open. Already closed. It's already closed. So Gail cannot even yet also to decide why she's here. And that's why the door is closed. I, uh, I get it. You get it? Yes. And same thing with Miguel. Conscious mind has to say. Like for example, for Janice, it's like sizes doesn't inspire her. Uh, this doesn't inspire. But that feeling on the picture inspires. Boom, the door is here. Uh, do you get that? Yeah. And that's why I'm asking you, what is this? What is that music? You get that? Mm -hmm. For you saving the world, but really, your love. That's what you're radiating, right? So each one of you has that. For you, it's like sexy, sexy, lingerie. <laughs> <laughs> we got it, right? So each one of you has that, and we need to find the door. Miguel doesn't even want to see the door. <laughs> no five years, I will suffer. Head down. Clear? Are you with me in this conversation? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. The thing that came to mind when you were having the conversation, of course, with all of us, not just Miguel, is yes. that for um, me, the word, the words do the work kept coming to my mind. Do the work. There's work to be done on our behalf. You know, you could teach us, you could show us the way. You can show us how to go in the door, and but we got work, do the work. You know, willing to do the work just kept coming to my mind. Do the work. You know, There's came work. To my mind that we have to forgive ourselves. And a lot of times, when we try to do something that's, like for me, when I got divorced, I knew, the core of me knew I was doing the right thing. But the way in which I was raised in the beliefs that you don't divorce, you don't, you know, you, you know, that's just not what you do. Mm -hmm. I punished myself for years mm -hmm. and didn't forgive myself, even though I knew I was in a, an abusive marriage. Mm -hmm. I, I punished myself and I held myself guilty. And because of that, I didn't open myself to even being vulnerable enough to be in a relationship. And I've been divorced for to 2003, and the first time I've ever been in a relationship that was actually like 
fulfilling was mm -hmm. it, it, uh, it, it's only been the last year. I get that, but can I say something? But you didn't say for five more years I'm going to stay in this abusive relationship. I did for twelve the years ago. I did for but not for five more or three more. From yeah. this present day. Your twelve day. was over. That was your end, and that's this present day. But you didn't say I need more time to suffer. Right. Does so that make sense? sense? Yeah, it does. So consider that right now the pain is more comfortable for Miguel. You okay. get that, right? And you have the similar version of that that just looks a little bit different. And by the way, you hear you got to do work. It's, by the way, and that's what I'm saying. It's what your mom said. Mm -hmm. That's what your childhood was about. Do, do the, the work. work. Yes. Do the work. Yes. And for her, it's forgiveness. It's self-sabotaging and hurting herself, so that's how she's going to hear it. Right. For her, it's not fair. For him, it's, I'm a bad boy, right? right. For yeah. each one of you, you're going to hear through the filter to what you've been raised into. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Because I'm saying the same thing, but each one of you going to yeah. hear differently. Yes. It's, for example, people are going to walk on the street. For example, wise men, uh, uh, people who stay on the streets and asking for money, homeless person and a prostitute. The same street, but they're going to look at the street differently. The homeless person going to look into yes. the garbage cans. Where's the garbage cans? Where can I get more food? The prostitute going to look, okay, where's man? Where's old man? Where's old man? I guess they're all in church. How dare they are? And she'll be looking for customers. And the wise man will be looking like, who needs my help? Who needs me to talk to you so I can say this. Same street, yeah. but three different visions. Yeah. So the same thing happens right now. Mm -hmm. You get that, right? Mm -hmm. You listen and you feel toxic. One of the things that you said, sort of under your breath yesterday, that I hear this in my head a lot, is yes. fake it till you make it. And for me, that's a lot of what these exercises are about. Because writing those 10 things about what I like about my body was not easy. Yes. But yeah. I did it because you said it has to be 10. Yes. And yeah, the last five are probably BS, but I faked it because yes. I wanted to put something on paper. And I think that sometimes you don't feel that yes. stuff. Yes. But the more that you at least just focus your mind on yes. thinking in that way, right. you're going to make it. You're going to find a breakthrough. There's something in there for you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And we're going to discuss that a little bit further also, what you're sharing right now. Very powerful. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, because by the way, your mind, subconscious mind, doesn't know the difference between reality and fantasy. Reality and your dream. So that's why when you're dreaming, you really feel like somebody's chasing you or somebody's about to kill you or you're feeling anxious or you feel stressed or depressed, whatever, right? Because it doesn't know the difference. So that's why when you're imagining yourself, you lost weight, you're size six or eight, and you're feeling happy, that's what your subconscious mind see. The more you see that, that's what you're heading towards too. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Even if you feel like you don't like your eyes right now or your hair or your neck, if you're starting to imagine that this is what something you like, that's what your subconscious mind is going to give you more of. Clear? Mm -hmm. Because if you're not going to love yourself the way you are right now, you're not going to love yourself when you're going to lose all the weight. And by the way, that's why you were